When you think of smartphones, you don't think of Kodak. Now this legacy company is pushing hard into this market, staying true to its roots with a camera-centric device. It'll set you back 550 bucks. To find out just how well it works, we're taking it for a spin all around London. The company is definitely going for retro chic with the Kodak Extra, as you can tell from the cute carrying case I have around my neck, sold separately. The phone even somewhat has the look and feel of an old Kodak camera, with the big lens, the leather that wraps around, even the curve here on the side, plus an actual camera button to take pictures. These days, megapixels aren't everything, but Kodak has 21 of them. Compare that to just 12 in today's top smartphones, and you start to see just how incredibly powerful this camera is. To achieve this though, Kodak basically had to jam a full-blown camera into a smartphone. And the result is thick. I mean, really thick. But once I started using it, it was a lot lighter than I expected, and the size really didn't bother me. But what does Kodak know about making a smartphone? Well, that's the beauty of Android, the operating system made by Google. It allows companies to focus on the hardware since the software is basically already made. Of course, easier said than done. Integrating those two can be tricky. And it's going to be really tough for Kodak to seriously compete in the cutthroat smartphone market. Kodak has packed this phone with photo editing software, going way past just Instagram. They've combined partnerships with apps like Snapseed, as well as an incredibly strong processor to narrow the gap for photo editing between computers and smartphones. While standalone cameras may have about as much life left in them as these old London telephone booths, with the Ektra, Kodak is showing that their technology may be enough to give Apple, Samsung, and Huawei a run for their money, at least when it comes to phone photography. But it's hard to imagine the ideal customer for this product. If you love cameras, you probably have a separate one, and if you just want the convenience of taking pictures on your phone, you probably want something slimmer. But for the folks who do buy the Ektra, their photos will be nice, and they just might be going back to the future.